She has one of the most sought-after young actresses in Hollywood. Some of her films include Priest and Abduction. She's starring with Julia Roberts in the new film Mirror Mirror, which opens nationwide March 30th. Please welcome Lily Collins. <laughs> about a, what, a couple of weeks ago at, we the, at the Oscar party. Yes, Doesn't that sound like show business Fair. talk? Yeah, I know, yeah. I saw you and I thought, I have to say hi. That's right, you came over and said hello, and you yeah. said, I'm on your show in a couple of weeks, and we, we talked, so. I know, now, now, it's so nice to meet you too. I've heard okay. so much about you. Yes. My family, we know each other, I feel. Yeah, I know daddy. Yeah. Knows yeah. daddy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now you grew up where, in England or here? I was born in England. Um, I moved here just before I turned six. Okay. So back and forth, I do visit there a lot. My house is still there. And Okay. I go back. Before you turned six, you came here, got your own apartment. Wow, that's amazing. You know, six. I just yeah. kind of moved out to Hollywood. Like, precocious no. <laughs> child. No, I remember actually driving down Sunset Boulevard with my mom and looking up at the palm trees and just asking to stay. Yeah, well, that, that's And that what was I did. it. We yeah. didn't move any of my stuff over, and my room is still how I left it as a five year old. Ducks and bunnies on the wall. and Just like mine. I, re yeah. <laughs> I refuse to change it. I really enjoy yeah. seeing it like it was when I was a kid. Well, let me ask you about because your dad is Phil Collins, a musician, obviously. Uh, did you ever ask him, hey, Pop, could you open doors for me? Do you say Pop in England? No, <laughs> no. No, you don't say Pop. Um, Father. Daddy. Father, Daddy. Father. No, oh, I like I've never that. used That's... the father. No. no, no. Daddy Just Dad. Good. Daddy's good. Okay. Um, no, I. I firmly believe um, personality opens doors, but character keeps them open. And I never wanted somebody to make a phone call for me. Um, a lot of people don't believe me when I say that, but yeah. I truly, it took me a lot longer to get to where I am because I wanted that. So and the bad. amazing thing is, it doesn't work. I get those calls all the time, Jay, this is so-and-so, yeah, you know, my kid, <laughs> and you just, How do I say no yeah, nicely? That's what you hate. And then, <laughs> now people go, oh, that's... Oh, don't, no, then they avoid you because they don't want, in case right. you're no good, they don't want to have to explain to well, them. Well, you know what's so funny? Actually I was told um, during my um, meetings for agencies, one of the first meetings I went into, the person said to me, look, there are tons of daughters, nephews, nieces, sisters, brothers, mm -hmm. like, what makes you so special? And I was like, well, that's not my angle. I wasn't going to go there. Um, yeah. and, and they said, well, come back when you've actually done something. And I thought, wow, um, yeah, well, that's not my, that's not my vibe yeah. at all. So this is not the right place for me because that's just not the direction I was going. Now, tell me about, I, I met your mom backstage. And your mom <laughs> goes to the, she does the car show there in Beverly Hills. She so. does. My yeah. mom is very active yeah, in the that, city. She would take you on cultural trips. What was that all about? Oh, we went to India, Africa, Egypt, Japan, wow. Belize, Costa Rica. Yeah. And when I say we're going on these trips, I mean there are no five-star, four-star, three-star, two-star hotels. We are staying in shacks in the middle of the rainforest um, yeah. to the point of, in Belize, we had um, toads on the toilet, iguanas above the toilet in the shower, scorpions in the bed. And at one point, my mom would just say, Lily, grab a cup. And I'd come in, and she'd be like, oh, scorpion down. Like, yeah, we, right. like, roughed it. Yeah, okay. We went swimming in um, waterfalls, and there were these men, this one time, um, my mom and I and some friends on this cruise went off and were in a, a waterfall swimming alone in Belize in the, in the rainforest. And um, these two men walked out holding a, a long stick with like a, a dead animal hanging on it. And they were holding this big knife. And I look, it's like, Pura Vida, hola, like, how are you? And I was like eight at the time. Right. We get back to the ship and they were like, why did you say that? He had a machete. I was like, I know the dog was so cute. They were like, no, the machete was like the knife. Yeah. And yeah. I see, I was just so clueless as a kid. I just loved new experiences and it was we had lots of wild ones yeah that's yeah that that, that, that could go either way actually <laughs> now let me ask him i'm looking to be alive i read something you said, you said you wanted to be the youngest talk show host you wanted a talk show as a kid um well at the age of 15 16 i uh started professionally auditioning and being told no a lot uh -huh. um so i wanted to pursue something that no one else was doing and i love journalism so i started writing for magazines at 15. okay and then at 16, uh, my, I hosted a show for Nickelodeon called Slime Across America. Slime Across America. Which okay. was interesting. It was dodgeball with slime. And then yeah. I hosted Kids Pick the President for Nickelodeon. Went to the inauguration and the conventions. And um, basically started going into to boardrooms of older executives at every major network with bar graphs and charts okay. saying, you need a young talk show host. 
And, how and they're like, work out? why? <laughs> um, they all told me no. Yeah. And they all said, you're too young, and you know, what, what's the audience? And, um, was that tough to handle at that age? Like when you're 15 and someone says, no, get out of here. I mean, um, you know, I always took no as a no, not right now. Not okay. no, this isn't for you. And I was just really persistent. Wow. I still was told no, and it obviously hasn't happened yet. But yeah, <laughs> now everyone has Twitter and Facebook, and you're kind of doing it yourself anyway. Yeah, I tried that women it never worked. No, does it really mean? No, that means no. <laughs> I, mean, I, always, I always found for me no meant no, not right now, never, never. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> Are you still interested in politics? Do you still get involved? Um, you know, I'm really excited. I mean, I still definitely stay alert and aware of, of what's yeah. going on. One of my best friends actually works at the White House. Oh, okay. Um, straight out of college, straight to the White House. I'm so excited for him and cool. very proud. So he keeps me up to date. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I definitely follow it. Okay. So tell us about Mira Mira. What's, what's this film about? Mira Mira is a modern retelling of Snow White, right. um, but it's told in a way that doesn't make her a caricature of a fairy tale princess. Right. She's very much a young woman who fights for what she believes and saves the prince just as much as he saves her and she uh, becomes a fighter I, I learned how to sword fight and fence wrestle in corsets and ball gowns and, and you know it's a great looking film because uh, when I saw this I said wow there's like Cirque du Soleil looking and it turns out they are from Cirque away, du Soleil but, but there are them. there are little people that on giant stilts that do this yes, whole deal the dwarves yes yeah. they are very acrobatic did you go to what was the premiere like tell me about that <gasps> the premiere was crazy uh, my dad flew in my mom was there I was sitting between both of them mm. shared amazing moments of both of them like you know getting very emotional um, but all these little girls were dressed up as princesses because they had this tent where you could do that and all of these kids came up to me and some were crying and, and thought I was Snow White. And then they presented me with a huge apple cake because it was my 23rd birthday. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. That, there it is right there. Look at that. Yes, okay. big cake. Very cool. Now we All have red a velvet, too. What are we going to see in this clip? What's this clip? Oh, this clip is when the prince and the princess um, Snow White are at this big ball that's being thrown by the queen, and they discover that that he is indeed the prince and she's the princess. Ah, and they but kind she's of meet. the evil queen. The evil queen, yes, Pris Julia. Let's take a look. <laughs> You. You're here? I, I am. I'm, I'm here, but you're the prince. So what are you... Doing in the palace? Um, I live here. I have for a while, actually. I'm kind of the princess. What? You didn't tell me that. Well, you never told me you were a prince. Oh. Well, I feared I looked ridiculous. Said the prince in the bunny hat. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be changing? Yes, I believe so. Oh, oh, ah, sorry. Ah, ah, I'm so ah, sorry. Ah. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. The truth is, I didn't just come here to dance tonight. I need your help. Anything. I'm at your disposal. It's the Queen. Ever since my father died, she's terrorized the people and ruined the land. And I would hope that a good-hearted prince like yourself would. I have to go. Right. Right away. Opens March 30th. Mira Mira. Lily, thank you very much. Secret Sisters right after this.